Hello people, so here we are on Sunday the 28th of April 2019 and we have had Storm Hannah. Seems to be a little bit of it left around, still a little bit blowy outside. Had some relatively high winds um, yesterday but uh, there we go, plant pots blown all over the garden but got to pick those up but uh, hey ho, that's the way it is. So I've been out here in the poly tunnel and um, I've started on the grow bag project. So I'm hoping for good results with this. I'm hoping it's going to give people a few ideas out there who want to get into growing and don't know where to start. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the uh, progress that I have made. So everything I've set in these grow bags, I've grown from seed myself, okay? So I've got some melons here that I've planted out, and I've got various varieties of tomatoes, although I've got a lot more to plant out as well. We'll get more into that in a moment. But um, yeah, so looking quite good. And the grow bags I purchased from Pound Stretcher. You may remember me mentioning this a few weeks or days ago if you've been following my channel for £1.49 for a grow bag so I thought that's quite good value so I purchased 10. Now generally grow bags they're not the sort of thing that I'm too much into but uh, so I've stated the reason why I am using grow bags this year but um, you know I'm always open to new ideas but I much prefer to you know make my own compost and at previous addresses I've done that and grown straight into that mainly using the no dig method I've got um, playlists on that sort of the main proponent if you will at least you know in modern times of this is a man called Charles Dowding so I suggest you check his work out if you wish um, he's got a YouTube channel and numerous books as well so Charles Dowding check him out he talks very much about the no dig method and it can be used very much to grow things in areas that you may otherwise think it's not that easy to grow in and it's about soil building soil nutrition and uh, yeah so very much worth looking at but uh, here we are today with the grow bags so I'm going to show you what I've got going down okay so let's start by looking at the grow bags so there you go so that's your grow bag there and as you can see one two three I've planted three plants in each grow bag now one of my viewers said to me about um, you know cutting the bag maybe into thirds or into half or whatever turning them sort of on their you know, cut them into cut them in half and then turn them you know what I mean turn them so that the uh, the compost doesn't fall out and then set into that and that's a very good idea but um, I may look into doing that but at the moment I'm just growing them three in one bag so I'll show you the basics of what these grow bags look like so as I stated one pound 49 okay and the company is Richmore the garden professional Okay, enriched with New Life Plus environmental formula. Sounds good. Um, carry with care, bit of health and safety there. Fiber light. Okay, positioning. I'm not going to read that out. I'm going to put the uh, camera there. And if you choose to pause it and read it, you can. There you go. This one here, look. Pause it there if you wish. And the same here. Okay, so this is the back of the uh, <clears throat> grow bag. There you go, have a read of that. I'll let you have a look. It doesn't actually say how many litres of uh, compost is in these, but um, I'm presuming, you know, I don't know, I can't guess. Okay, so the varieties that I've got set. Now, I've got some rather exotic tomatoes here. And this is variety Inima de Bo. Okay? So I thought I'd go a little bit different. Of course, they're going to grow up here and grow into, um, you know, grow up canes eventually. Now, I've got to keep them well watered, everything here, for obvious reasons. They're going to dry out relatively quick because they're in grow bags. It's not a massive growing space. And, of course... They are inside a polytunnel, and um, I've got a video on how to, uh, you know, stop tomatoes going leggy. If you want to check that one out, but uh, what I'm planning to do is to raise the soil level here using a bit of compost, so that um, you know they haven't got this long, leggy, weak stem. So that's a plan that I've got. That's the same again. Ima de Bo. This is a variety called Mermandy. 
this is Mamandi as well. I presume that's how you say it. Yep, same again. And this one here. Yep. Now this one, Paradixum Cherry. Lovely, beautiful looking red tomatoes in the photos. Same again, same again. And this one here, Baconia, Baconia, and this one is Baconia as well. Now I've got some other tomato, you can see, look, I've got more Baconias here, and I've got more Paradixum Cherries here. Now I've got some money maker there, I've got to get them out because as you can see by the colour of the leaves there, they're purpling. They suffer from nutritional deficiency so I've got to get them, you know, either in the ground outside, in a grow bag. I've got to do something with them but that's uh, something I'm currently thinking on. Now I've got some watermelons in here, varieties Royal Fantasy. Okay, one, two, three, they're looking pretty good so I'm going to let them, you know, put their boots down and we'll see how we get on. Now I'm going to be knocking up some sort of feed for these because of course, although the soil, the compost rather, in these grow bags looks very good quality indeed, I, um, I do realise that these, particularly the melons, will deplete the nutrients relatively quickly from these grow bags. So I'm going to have to get some sort of, make some sort of feed, you know, to feed them with. So that's one thing that uh, I'm going to be, uh, you know, looking into. But at the moment there should be enough to get the plants going. And, uh, you know, hopefully in about five, four or five months or so, maybe even quicker for the tomatoes, I'll be reaping the rewards of uh, these grow bags and have some great tomatoes and hopefully great melons to eat from here. So that's uh, what I'm hoping. Oh, it started to rain. Now, things really are moving very quickly here. And um, these are some more melon plants. I had them growing inside. They're going leggy now. So I brought them out here. They'll thicken up out here. Um, got some more squash plants. These are going to be going outside. Uh, squashes, melons, mainly squashes here as well. My broad beans are starting to show some runner beans, rather, are starting to show some signs of life. And you know the two melons I've got in the pot here, um, variety Eden's Gem, are starting to look pretty good as well. So I've been having a look around and I'm noticing now that um, I'm starting to get some little flowers on the grapevines. So I'm um, probably going to have my first crop of grapes at this address this year. So I'm very happy about that. I will just show you um, what like an early stage grapevine flower show looks like. So there you go. So that's hopefully going to be a bunch of grapes. And um, some of the vines outside as well are starting to show some signs of grape flowers so very happy about that I'm going to be doing it um, when the plants you know the grapes are a bit more further underway I'm going to be doing a video on grapes another one because I think there's a few more bits I want to add to the great playlist of growing grapes in a back garden or a garden home address so to speak wherever but yeah things are looking good so the grow bags um, we'll just have to see how you know how they do basically and um, I think they're going to do very well actually something tells me they are I don't quite know what is telling me but something is hmm So yeah, I had a few people ask me about planting stuff outside. Now, still at risk of frost, okay? Generally in the UK, up until sort of late May, really, is when we class as being for relative risk of frost. But um, you might get away with putting things outside now, delicate things, if you're prepared to cover them, protect them, if should a frost be imminent. So be aware of that. But general advice, end of May is very good for planting up outside. Of course, in a polytunnel, can be earlier like now. So there we go. So wish me luck, please, on the grow bag project. And um, any comments, questions, or what's it, please feel free to post them down below. And if you like my work, mainly you know, consisting of backyard garden domestic growing, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.